Hey guys, we're back in the Vampire Origins doing the Harvest Savina showcase as promised. Sorry for the delay. Um, I had like some issues with school and stuff. But anyways, she has 400 health and 1,750 magic. And yeah, let's just get into it. And thanks for watching y'all. So, Davina's first keybind is obviously a Twitch's Pain Infliction, as always with the basic witches. This is what that looks like. And yeah. Then we have C, which is her push. And that's what that looks like. Next, you have X, which is her blood choke. That's your blood starting to boil. That's what that looks like, and it does a lot of damage. For her next keybind, we have T, which is stop. stop. And it just like stops everyone in the area, so yeah, they can't move. Next, we have Y, which is her mask next snap. It'll snap everyone, including game passes, um, if they're lower than 100 health. And yeah. And just like normal Davina, she has her partially wolf turn force. And this is what that looks like. Next, we have her Bone Break Push Combo Keybind. So we can be one big, happy Frankenstein And family. it has a cute little voice line, and yeah, it does a lot of damage. Next, we have you, which is just her next snap. I believe it works on any species as well, so yeah. Next, we have B, which is her Earthquake Keybind, which also old Davina has. And yeah, that's what that looks like. Next we have Z, which is her blood boil. Did you know I can make someone's blood boil? All I have to do is focus. And it would obviously do more damage, but Tyler's a vampire. And her last keybind is N, which is just her memory wipe. Next, she has her mass sleeping spell, which is some numbs. And this is what that looks like. No, it's not polite to stare. And yeah, it's probably going to be good for like getting away and stuff. Next, she has her old keybind from, I mean, keybind spell from the old game, which is Povia, which is her acid rain. <laughs> But it's like way better now, as you can see. It does a lot, a lot of damage, even for vampires and hybrids and all that. As you can see. And Tyler has 500 health. So it's really cool. Her next spell is Infernos, which is her mass fire manipulation spell. And it's basically like an area spell, pretty much. And it sets the people on fire. And it does a lot of damage. And her next spell, what you're going to need is the, uh, the knife from the harvest area. It's not the harvest dagger, it's just a knife. And then you're going to want to stab your target. And you're going to want to say Fast Mantos and Cindy Yar, I think is how you're supposed to say it. Add Polux. And then your target's um, character name. So whoever you're doing, like mine is Monique. As you can see, their name is above their head if you, like, don't know their name. And you just say their name and have the blood out. And then it blood curses them. So if they don't, like, get it fixed by the ancestors then they die and they only have 60 seconds to do that and the ancestors can deny it as you can see right here 
And her next spell is her, like, power overload spell, ancestral power overload spell. This is what that looks like. It works on anyone, including you. But, um, the game passes have to be below 100 health. Davina's last spell is when she dies anywhere on the map besides the graveyard. The ancestors will resurrect you in the graveyard. But um, besides the graveyard, if you die anywhere else where you can't like get resurrected by the ancestors, you can say this spell to bring you back you know, only once per lifetime. And yeah, that's pretty cool. One last thing she has is if anyone locates her, um, she'll see it. So that's what this looks like. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.